Congratulations, class of 2021. And to those of us who finished in fall 2020, my name is Brina Lorraine, and it is my honor and privilege to speak to you today. This is an occasion to celebrate our many achievements and memories, and to thank those who have stood by our side. And I know we're all grateful to UCLA for each step of our journey, from our very first day as Bruins, through our transformative experiences, and through the difficulties and uncertainties we have faced as a society and campus community since last March. It goes without saying that we have navigated trying circumstances, the global pandemic, social and racial injustice, political unrest, and now most of us will find ourselves standing at a crossroads in life. So where can we go from here? What can we do as we embark on the next phase of our journey beyond this campus we love so much? In the face of societal, personal, or professional uncertainty, one thing we can control is deciding to put into motion what we have learned here at UCLA. Yes, we are empowered to do so. And today, we are wonderfully positioned to empower others to do so as well. We each have our own reasons for devoting years of our lives to the study of music and culture. And during our time at UCLA, we have grown intellectually, artistically, and emotionally. We also have become increasingly aware that actions often speak louder than words, but words can deeply penetrate the hearts and minds of those they reach. And this is one of the reasons why our fields of study are so important during times like this. The contributions we can offer to our communities are different from other disciplines, and we can have a meaningful and lasting influence. So what should emerge from our individual and shared experiences here as students, as musicians and ensembles, as participants in graduate seminars, as community members of the UCLA Herb Alpert School of Music, as true Bruins? Music, ethnomusicology, and musicology in action. What does music, ethnomusicology, and musicology in action look like? It will probably look very different for each of us. For some, it will look like writing or performing compositions that communicate the change we seek, the hope we long for, or the perseverance we so desperately need. For others, it should look like volunteering with or even launching nonprofit organizations that provide community services or music education and performance opportunities for those in need. For those of us in scholarship, it should look like researching and writing about subjects that will generate dialogue to effect systemic change. For most of us, as we teach music in some shape or form, whether it's theory, history, performance, musicology, or ethnomusicology, it should look like crafting an informed curriculum that transforms the lives of our students, just as many of us have been transformed here at UCLA. For all of us, it should look like standing up to injustice, confronting oppression, sparking new ways of thinking, empowering others, and forming a deeper respect for one another. It should look like voicing our truest core values and expecting the same from our peers. This is our responsibility as true Bruins. This is true Bruin music, ethnomusicology, and musicology in action. UCLA Herb Alpert School of Music, let's go.